Grand City. Hardest place on Earth. People aren't born here. They're forged out of broken bones and blood money. Fortunes are lost and found on a daily basis. And if you're not one of the lucky finders, you're probably dead. That's not to say there's no justice here. It's just hard to reach sometimes, under the layers of crime and corruption that stretch between the gutter and the glamour. It was another gray autumn. The leaves were changing from go green to caution yellow. Pretty soon they'd be danger red, then dead brown. All cars, gunshots reported in the vicinity of Chinatown subway construction site. This is Slate. I'm on it. End of the line, Augie. Why don't you do us both a favor? Go for your gun. What the? Uh... Don't do anything stupid, Slate. Get up, son. Jack. No, you're gonna be okay. Come on, get up, Jack. Come on, just walk it off, kid. Jack. Come on, get up. You're welcome to fall at any time. Why, thank you. You make the creative process so much easier for me. Good shot, officer. Why, I'm amazed Mr. Blatz was able to squeeze off a round in self-defense. Your sketch is complete. You're certain the second subject is to be a still life? Whatever you like, it's your gallery. I'm just the artist. Just relax, officer. Hopefully the ambulance will arrive in time. Unfortunately, they'll be bringing in many, many more cops, but what can I say? You probably don't realize how much skill it took not to paint the floor with your brain meat. But my client wants you alive. It wouldn't have been my choice. But he says killing cops is bad business. Oh, and because you might find it of interest, Augie Blatz did not kill your father. Tattoo's map wasn't half bad. It traced a route through the shower drain and a bunch of underground tunnels and ancient drainage pipes. This place was solid, but old, and it hadn't seen a whole lot of maintenance since Eisenhower was in the White House. I just had to hope the same could be said about old Sparky. In just a few moments, the raging controversy surrounding the murder of Augie Blatz will be put to rest with the execution of fallen police officer Jack Slate. Bearing witness today are Mayor William Pinnacle, Captain Dick Hennessy of the Grant City Anti-Crime Unit, who made the arrest, and a number of friends of the victim, including ex-heavyweight champ, Rafshoon Diggs. Cost me a hundred bucks to get the pleasure of frying you, Slate. But I would pay two. Oh, Heavenly Father, look into this man's heart and find the goodness. Look upon his soul with mercy and welcome him into your kingdom with open arms. Oh, dear God, give us a miracle. If this works, I'll be back to get you out of here, preacher man. The Lord don't like it, the promises, son. Faith, Padre, faith. <clears throat> okay, okay, it's time. Hey, Slate! When you get to hell, mention my name, and they'll give you a discount. Jack Slate, on behalf of the people of Grant City, I sentence you to death by means of electrocution for the heinous crime of intentional murder. Do you have any last words? Not yet. Son of a... Somebody turn on the damn lights! It's sickle! 
Lockdown! I want this place sealed solid! Wallet says his name was Marvin Silt. Looked like a typical low-rent thug. I don't know why he wanted me for a hood ornament, but I didn't have time to worry about that now. I needed a place to hide, and I knew just the perfect spot. They say every criminal returns to the scene of the crime, but very rarely do the good guys. By now, Hennessy would have my apartment under watch 24-7, but I was willing to bet that that crime scene was still open thanks to the usual assortment of bureaucratic snafus. I'd hole up in Blatch's apartment, let things cool down for a bit while I planned my next move. I wasn't gonna get very far dressed like an escaped prisoner, so I figured I'd borrow some of Augie's clothes. He wouldn't be needing them anymore now that he's six feet under. I had plenty of work ahead of me. Solve my father's murder and find the guy who set me up. And to do that, I was gonna need guns and information, more or less in that order. And there's one place where both exist in profusion, Chinatown. It's all right, boy. I don't know where this track has taken us, but once we see it through, we're out of here. This place is sucking the life out of me. Whoa, Jack! It's just me. What are you doing here? Same as you. My Frank may have left me unemployed and buried in bills, but he was still a good man. Thanks, and sorry about all that trouble back at the club. Yeah, you should be. I got fired. Serious? Sorry about that, but you know, you're better than that place. Hey, the money was good. A lot better than what I'm making now, waiting tables down at the ore house. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being a waitress. Listen, I gotta ask, do you have any idea what Dad was working on when he died? <sighs> Muck diving for Gloria Exner, mostly. She wanted him to scrounge up some dirt on the mayor to help her win the election. She's kind of mad on against his stormtrooper police squad. You mean Gat? Yeah. And she thought maybe Frank could prove that the funds were being misappropriated and misused. Well, were they? Beats me. Just get out of here! was gonna ambush me tonight. I don't know what you're talking about. Most of Mayhem Inc.'s muscle is holed up preparing for the debate tomorrow. If somebody was trying to kill you tonight, it probably wasn't them. Then who would... Hold on. Wait, what are they planning to do at the debate? Someone posted an open hit on some feminist running for mayor. Gloria Exner? Mm, that sounds about right. I try to avoid politics. Big waste of time. But I'll tell you, every freelancer with a pea shooter will be there trying to collect. Should make my job a little easier. All right. I'll meet you there. What for? I'm telling you, the competition's pretty stiff. I need Exner alive. What are you doing? Hey, I'm open to any suggestions. Thank 
you. Yeah, don't mention it. Bravery runs in your family. Yeah, about that. Look, he died investigating your case. What exactly did you send him after? I heard a rumor that there were some budgetary issues with the subway construction. I thought maybe Frank could find out for sure. And did he? I don't know. He never made it to our meeting. I'm afraid, Jack. People want me dead and I don't know why. Please, stay with me. Look, you need a safe place to hide out until this is all over. You got a car? Y yeah. Head out to Cold Rock Creek. My dad's cabin is at the end of Mayflower Lane. Stay there until you hear from me. And, uh, since you're headed in that direction, you think you can give me a lift to the pier? Don't thank me till you get my bill. I uh, don't. Ah, shh. Stay put. Ah. I'll take care of whoever it is. Well, if it ain't the heavyweight champ turned rent a cop, Ralph Shoon Diggs. I'd offer you a donut, but we're closed. Well, that's real nice, Hildy. You fake that joke up yourself? <laughs> it's a real cracker. Look here. You hear any gunshots about? Gunshots? No. It's been pretty quiet all night. I've been a lot of dead blokes on the dock for a quiet night. You wouldn't be pulling one over on us, how were you? Like I could get anything past a hot guy like you. What are you looking for, Diggs? Something I can get for you? The hoop wants to have a chat. Like he chatted with Dominique when she got fired? I don't think so. I wasn't asking. I was telling. And I was refusing. What is this? This. Is what you call bloody trouble, love. You don't know the half of it. Oi! Look at this, fellas! Our bleeding hero. <laughs> uh. Uh. Pick him up and let's be off then. I woke up rested, despite some freaky dreams involving Rafshoon and Diggs and four feet of rusty barbed wire. What was he doing at the Yor House? And what did Fahook want to talk to Hildy about? Pinnacle Security was the mayor's private army of bodyguards. Why were they working for a sleaze like Fahook? It seemed the mayor was in bed with a bad element. And so was Hildy. Wake up, Mr. Slate. Nap time is over. Fahook Abdul was supposedly the prince of some oily country on the other side of the globe. Rumor had it he was involved in nearly every kind of crime that went down in Grant City. Robbery, kidnapping, vice, you name it. But he kept himself private, mostly, granting the occasional exclusive appearance only to those he felt were worthy. I said wake up! Ah! I guess I should feel honored. You are the subject of many troubled discussions these days, Mr. Slate. Where's Hildy? She's being put to good use. Yeah? How is the white slavery trade these days? Many great powers wish desperately to see you silenced, you know. Do you have any idea why? I give up. Why? You mean to suggest that through all of your snooping and violence, you still don't know what is happening here? I find that hard to believe. Hey, look. You think I'd be here if I had any answers? A man seeking vengeance rarely carries with him logic. I will return in a number of hours. Please, do not die before we have a chance to speak again. Build its contents like a biblical revelation. This was all about gold, money, the root of all evil. Don't know where Fahook got that sort of treasure, but hopefully there'd be more answers wherever this truck was headed. Not 
Bad job. I'm impressed. Perhaps I should have hired you to head this operation. Why not? I already know where all your tunnels lead. Maybe I can give the feds a guided tour when they get here. Hell, I'll even show them where I buried your body. Relax, Junior. I didn't kill your father. If you haven't figured that out by now, you aren't half the detective I took you for. He found out about your gold mining scheme. He was carving your logo in the cement when he bled to death. That's true. But again, I didn't kill your father. Nor did I order his death. I may be involved in some, uh, questionable activities, but not murder. Yeah, well, who did then? There are pernicious forces in this city. Forces who have gathered evidence that could destroy some of its most prominent citizens. Such as myself. You're not answering the question. Who was the first cop to show up when you called in your father's death? Hennessy. A little off his beat, isn't it? What are you telling me that Hennessy killed my dad? Come on. You've underestimated him far too long. He's blackmailing half the city. He's not only got the ability to put me in a federal penitentiary, but every criminal on this side of the river. He's even got the power to frame good cops like you and your father. My... my dad. Surely you knew Hennessy wasn't on the up and up. I, I knew he was an asshole, but, but why kill my father? He was already kicked off the force. He found out about my golden account with Fahook. The same one Hennessy liked to dip into every now and then. The greedy little bastard was just looking out for his money tree, and had no compunctions against hiring Mayhem Inc. to ensure its safety. Sending me after Blatz. He knew. As distasteful as it might seem to you, I would like to propose an alliance. Together, we eliminate Hennessy and his files, and in return, you will have avenged your father's murder, and I'll see to it that you're pardoned. Pinnacle's story about Hennessy filled in too many blanks. When my father learned the truth, he had to be killed. That left me as the odd man out. Hennessy could stop the other cops from investigating the murder properly, but when I showed up at the crime scene, it threw his plans out of whack, so he set me up. So where are these files located exactly? This was it. This is where Hennessy kept his treasure cleverly disguised as criminal evidence. You know civilization is collapsing when there's nobody policing the police. This city is rotting from the inside out. I'd seen those masks before, in the cemetery and at the pier. Now I knew how I'd been blasting, gack boys in disguise. Hennessy had been trying to kill me since I escaped the chair. This looked like what I came for, and more. I'm sure if I stuck around long enough, I'd find all sorts of bad voodoo that could take Hennessy to his grave. But this would be plenty, and it wouldn't be much longer before Hennessy's posse realized I wasn't at the prison anymore. Taking Hennessy down was certainly a priority, but I couldn't help but feel wrong about giving Pinnacle a clean record to work off of. Maybe I could kill two birds with one stone. Gloria, it's Jack. I think I've got something you'd be very interested in seeing. Jack, I, I hadn't heard from you and started to worry. I'm fine. Here, this is all the dirt you need to see Pinnacle get beaten down. First in the election, then maybe in a prison yard if we're lucky. You know, when I hired your father to dig that up, I, I had no idea how serious things were going to get. Yeah, we'll take this to the press or whatever, but don't take it to the police. They're in on it. I know. Whoa, whoa, what is this? What are you doing? Pinnacle said he'd kill me if I didn't cooperate. I'm, I'm sorry, Jack, but I'm pulling out of the election. But you got him by the balls. The information in that bundle will could... get me killed. I don't know how you can live day to day in the face of fear, but I don't have your kind of stamina. I thought by surrounding myself in a public office with people fighting by my side, I could battle the corruption, but not alone. Gloria. Vote for her anyway, huh? Hildy, what are you... Where were you? Are you okay? Are you kidding? I'm, I'm fine. I'm set. Finally. What are you... If the hook said this stuff was worth a lot, 
Promised me a small fortune if I got it for him. And God knows I got bills. Sorry, Jack. Just let me do this. But what about... I, I thought when this was over we could... But there is no we, Jack. Your father was killed, I felt bad for you. You were hurt, I helped you out. I'm flattered you thought about me that way, but... Well, you shouldn't. You're saying you'd shoot me? <sighs> Let's not find out. Look, I've been struggling my entire life. I can't even hang on to a lousy job for more than a couple of weeks. You actually think I could live on a cop's salary? Sitting by the phone every night, waiting for that call from the captain telling me I'm on my own again? Please. Just stay out of this, Jack. For your own sake. She didn't look the same. I don't know what Fahook did to her, but she wasn't the girl I always admired from afar anymore. I guess it took her pointing a gun at me and noticed that part of her I subconsciously ignored. I guess the Hildy I knew never existed. She was just a character played by a desperate actress and I wasn't buying it. The chances were, she was headed for her final curtain. I followed her all the way out to Warden Air Force Base, one of those places that had been shut down by Congress and left moldering in the fog. It looked like Fahook was getting out of the country for a while until things cooled down. I doubt Hildy had any idea what she was getting herself involved in. She was in way over her head this time, and despite everything, I couldn't just let her walk in there like a lamb to slaughter. is what everyone was after. This bundle of dirty secrets. Is that my payment? I, I sort of expected cash. Unfortunately, my cash assets have been redirected to my homeland. But they should more than suffice. Uh, yeah, except I can't really pay rent with a bar of gold. True, true. <laughs> then uh, perhaps I should just keep it. That will not be a problem. Okay, Slate. I hoped you wouldn't be this big a thorn in my side. But apparently, you are. One I should clip off and burn. Bring it on.
What's your angle here, Slate? It better be good. Remember, I'm putting my ass on the line. Here. What's this? Your Pulitzer Prize. Only one catch. Yeah, what's that? I died in that crash. You got me? Yeah, 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 sure, sure, whatever. So, what's the story? You'll understand when you read what's in there. How soon can you get that on the air? <laughs> is uh, 10 o'clock too soon? 10 o'clock is perfect. Now, you think you can drop us off at the Bay Bell? I got one last loose end to tie up. With a crack and a sizzle, it was over. The truth was in the air and the feds were on the case. Not that there was anyone left to implicate, but I'm sure they'd find their share of scapegoats. And I'd rather not stick around long enough to be one of them. With Hennessy, Blatz, and Fahook all dead, the inevitable struggle for power would begin. It would take an atom bomb to rid this city of crime, but I was fresh out of plutonium. I'd had enough. My own bundle of sins were enough to keep me awake for the rest of my life, but I had to believe that bringing the bad guys down would have some karmic benefit down the road somewhere, somewhere other than here. I didn't mind though. In fact, I was looking forward to leaving. They say Grant City's the hardest place on earth. The people aren't born here, they're made. That fortunes are lost and found on a daily basis. And if you're not one of the lucky finders, you're probably dead. Well, I can tell you this for a fact. Jack Slade is about as far from dead as you can imagine. released a partial list of victims from the recent plane crash outside Wharton Air Force Base. No survivors were found in the wreckage of the disaster that claimed the lives of 68 passengers. Among the deceased is fugitive Jack Slate, wanted since his daring prison escape moments before his scheduled execution. Doctors say the remainder of his corpse was burnt beyond recognition and consider themselves fortunate to have established conclusive evidence to close the statewide manhunt. Faith, Padre. Faith. God bless Jack Slate. God! I'll see you in hell. I'll see you in hell. See you in hell. See you in hell. Both of you in hell. See you in hell. I suppose I'll see you in hell. See you in hell. In hell. See you in hell, Junior. I can't believe you beat me, Jack Slate. Here are your cigarettes. See you in hell. <laughs>